Hello tubers. I hope you see it. I hope you like it. Okay? I will do a watch party. With absolutely fuck nobody apparently because there's nobody in my chat. Um Twitch link is down below. Next time you can be there if you want to. By the way, I stream every day. Um or almost every day, I try to. Um anyways, yeah. What do you want me to say? The video starts in like roughly a minute or some shit. Um we will gonna see some lighter stuff. We will see that pink hat NPC a little bit. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it's gonna be banger, okay? I will pull for lighter. If you have not seen my latest video, which I uploaded yesterday, is about one second. I forgot. Just mute this shit, nobody needs to hear that. Um yeah. Latest video. Bernie's pulling, Bernie's Shiu defense. You should watch it. I would watch it. Considering it's my own video, I probably also watched it already, okay? I was part of it. Who could have seen everyone coming, right? Anyways, enjoy. Hope we all have a banger here. I wonder what the next patch is going to be happening, actually. I have no clue. I know nothing. I'm not looking at leaks. The only leaks I look at is maybe some character, but even that's a stretch, okay? I, I don't know shit about the bitch. Anyways, let's go, let's have a fun day, and enjoy the video. Hi there, proxies. Welcome to the Zen Lesson Zero special program. Great to see you all again. I'm the intelligence broker with the hottest gossip on the scene. Mr. Z. And next to me is... Look at Mr. Z. Hello, Mookie, buddy. Hello, How's it going, buddy? How are you doing? We're live now. Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. In today's live stream, I'll be teaming up with Lady Meow to bring you all the latest updates. I'm honest. We truly I'm not the biggest fan of the announcers Why already. So serious, Mr. Z. You're not nervous because this story is about Section Six. This it's kind of it's kind of weird. Not at all. Oh, Section Six. Section Six is an elite team specifically trained to handle hollow disasters. Shukaku? To residents of New Eridu, they're like guardians watching over us. Is it about time? Might be a bit of an exaggeration. Is food included? But for the average person, Section Six is definitely a group to look up to. I heard they've even got the fan base. Yeah, when? Mm-hmm. As the best intel broker in New Eridu, I've infiltrated the Section 6 fan club and got an inside scoop about the team. Next, I'll be introducing them to you all. But before we get, Hello? get to Section 6, we have to first introduce Ken, the, shit, man. the Hollow Affairs and Neutralization Department. They're one of the top governing agencies Tuba. in New Eridu. Never Arid. move to Germany. Oh, the Just trust me, that one. Mm -hmm. Let's not put it that way. Although they're a high level organization involved in city administration, hand mainly handles matters related to Down below, as a in the description, agency, very fun top, his own armed forces, you will find the which is why they established promo code special for the stream. And section six Copy is paste the it into the link that is also there. That's right. Section six has built quite the reputation since it's oh, shit, Tukaku. And a oh no, it's from time. Public. Though under normal circumstances, Kinich, few get the chance to interact with them. But if you ever get caught up in a hollow disaster or some hollow related crime, you might just meet this elite team. Yep. If you do run into them, this dude, both a honestly, he looks like a foursome curse. man. Oh, or A rank. What do you mean? Well, it's a blessing in the sense that Section 6 is undeniably skilled and will definitely rescue me. Yabi is cool as shit, man. But it's also a curse since the team members are all pretty eccentric. So you still better hope for the best. Well, you aren't wrong about that, Lydia, <coughs> but don't worry, everyone. I hope he comes out soon. There is one normal person among them that you can rely on. You mean Miss Yanagi, right? That's right. And the story we are about to She's witness very normal also for an NPC. revolves around Miss Yanagi. Everyone knows now that HSO Section Six is part of Pan. She has mega medicine, but honestly, she looks like an NPC. Highly capable fighters. 
The founder and team leader, Ms. Hoshimi Miyabi, is oh, particularly Miyabi. exceptional. But it's Ms. Yanagi's guidance that transforms the raw power of Section 6's field agents into an effective asset in battle. <laughs> Sounds like Ms. Yanagi is the brains behind the team. <laughs> you could put it that way, but if you want to know more... Let's play the VCR! Lego? What's wrong, Deputy Chief? It's probably just my imagination, but I feel like something is about to happen. Hollow Special Operations Section 6, Heroes of New Eridu. I'm afraid no one in this world needs your salvation. But Logo, it's... Here, I can fail countless times, but Ooh. you can afford a single mistake! Hurting people like this. The special monster we're looking for must be you. Kind of being a crush. Okay, these auto attacks look fucking sexy, okay? I gotta say. The Katana quick attacks. <laughs> I'm a sucker for Katana action sometimes, man. If it's done well. And holy shit, it looks done well. I, Lighter, of the Sons of Kaladon. Yeah, boy, in Jinbu! I'm here to issue a challenge to all of you. Nice. Banger. To deal with you. Fists are more than enough. You've got a plan to take them down, right? And you're going down with me! Get out of there! Soki Shiro Yanagi! Wait, what? Virtual wow, revenge. That was a lot of info. Were Miss Yanagi <coughs> and Miss Miyabi fighting? Okay, with that name, I virtual revenge. You can ask her I assume hey, Lady Mel, the Via Boo bots will come next. Where did you even source that from? I feel like Come on, Mr. Z. They I have some you know. in the shit too. I managed to get some audio files of Miss Yanagi. Want to listen? <laughs> what? Hello. I'm Sukashiro Yanagi, Deputy Chief and Intelligence Officer of Section 6. Is this from a public recording? Hello, Chief Sukishiro Yanagi. Sorry, I'm the Deputy Chief. The Chief of Section 6 is Hoshimi Miyabi. Please be careful not to confuse our positions. How are you having a conversation with the recording? Mm, thank you for the clarification, Miss Yanagi. I heard Section 6 was single-handedly established by Miss Miyabi, and that it's an elite team that holds a rather special position. Oh, Electro Anomaly. Is there some <clears throat> deeper story behind <clears throat> it? Hmm? Okay. Chief Miyabi played a key role in establishing Section 6, but it was also a decision carefully made by I mean, maybe if there's more info. Um, and she's good with bunnies, the the then there's a chance, but I don't know anything about it yet, so I'm not fucking with it yet. Residents of New Eridu can also log into the city's official <coughs> website for public but I, I want Jinbu. I, I definitely want Jinbu. Oh my, quite the official answer. You sure don't let anything slip through, huh? Well, one more week? One more week. What is it, one more week? Hello, my How's it going, buddy? How nice you nice Section six operates. There will be three of this exodemic. Oh, I nice. Good shit, by handling minor tasks when needed. Our team is equipped to deal with any major hollow related incidents, and my teammates know what they're doing, so there's no need for too much supervision. Of course, if anyone's skipping shifts or slacking off, then it's my duty to discipline them. Is it just my imagination, or did the room just get colder? <laughs> Must be your imagination. But I can tell this family would fall okay. apart without you. All right, let's talk about Section 6's latest operation now. <clears throat> can you tell us about what you encountered during this incident? We were invited by the HIA to test some new technology, which included trying out new equipment and recording raw data. The specifics are confidential. Ooh, I can sense something big. Please explain a little bit more. I need to know. Could it be related to the new equipment? The curiosity is killing me. I mean, she has the rain pull on. We'll have to find out the truth ourselves. When we get okay, that picture's kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. Episode. Anyway, that one looks fucking good. Holy shit, man. She doesn't look like NPC anymore on that one. 
I have failed this in oh, it's it's fucking amazing then. Don't what? be sad, Mr. Z. There's still more to the story in the outer ring, right? We're counting on you to fill us in about that. Really? Am I still qualified to do this? Go ahead. I like how the screens are glitching because something will coming soon. Although the Tour de Inferno like. has concluded, the story of a certain champion remains untold. After the Tour de Inferno, I'm sure all you proxies are more familiar with Lighter now. Nice, Jinwu time. The champion of the Sons of Caladon, he doesn't concern himself with the names of those he's defeated. Sporting his leather jacket, accented with a bright red scarf, I'd say he's the coolest guy in my book. Hey, he's fucking cool. The question is, why would someone so independent like him join a biker gang? Well, although Lighter might seem like quite the lone wolf, he actually cherishes every member of the Sons of Caledon. But there must be some hidden reason behind his decision. Open is kind of cool. A hidden reason? In that case, should we ask Lighter himself? Don't tell me you have a recording of him too. Hello, Mr. Lighter. Hello. Why did you join the Sons of Caledon? Wait, are you really just gonna ask like that? If there's a hidden reason, he wouldn't just tell us. I owed Big Daddy a favor. Huh? That's it? I see. Big As Daddy went. Instead of Mr. Lighter, straightforward and honest. Thanks. Speaking of which, dude, I like how he's always a little bit over, too fast with answering. Been crowned, but I heard there's something called settlement days in the outer ring. Ah, I've heard of it too. By tradition, within three days of a new overlord taking charge, anyone with past the grievances can challenge the new leader to settle scores. This is also In case you don't know why I call him Jinbu, in the, past, the English voice actor far more is literally Jinbu. In recent times, it's the same voice actor like from Solo Leveling. It's become rare to see anyone actually trying to make And he's a fucking gold, board. okay? Do you think anyone would challenge you, Mr. Lighter? <laughs> Certainly seems so. <laughs> Certainly well. seems so. Ah, and there he goes. That didn't take long, and he doesn't seem nervous at all. Right. It doesn't seem like the Sons of Caledon are taking settlement days very seriously. But like Lighter just said, things have calmed down a bit in the past few years. In Lighter's agent story, you'll receive an Holy shit, man, what? from the Sons of Caledon. The females are gonna be wetting them set left and right. As the settlement days begin, everyone in the Sons of Caledon is goofing around. Meanwhile, Lighter readily accepts challenges and steps into the arena. However, as he continues to win battle after battle, the situation starts to take an unexpected turn. And this is where you leave everyone hanging? Hey, if we give away too much, there won't be any suspense. Speaking of the outer ring, isn't Pearlman still out cold there? We shouldn't forget, he still has crucial intel. Pearlman, a piece of shit, is sleeping for six weeks now, man. can get that crucial intel from Pearlman. And Section 6's elites will, through an unexpected turn of events, end up becoming involved with the Vision case. This is just the start of Bell and Wise's story with the members of Section 6. So please stay tuned for future installments of the main story. There okay. will still be some time before the continuation of that story. So... Let's return to version 1.3 and get to introducing our agents. Okay, nice. Huh? Finally. We're moving on already. All right. Let's dive into the intel on Miss Sukishiro Yan. Stop making your animations good. As Otherwise, you see, I'm going to be pissed. I'm the one giving the info this time. Sukishiro Yanagi, a member of Section 6 and an S-rank anomaly agent with electrifying attacks. Yeah, Seriously? Mega Milk. Doesn't anyone care that I'm the one who got this info? She has massive Mickey. Naginata that matches her slender frame. In combat, she uses a combination of styles to take down enemies. Her special attack lets her attack enemies while changing her stance. Okay. These available moves will change depending on her stance, and she'll mm. also get different buffs. These buffs remain in effect for some time after Yanagi switches stances. Okay. Simply put, as long as you keep a good rhythm of switching her stances, Yanagi can continuously receive the buffs from both stances. Sounds also, good. after Yanagi switches her stance, 
Every time she deals damage with a basic attack, her anomaly buildup increases. When okay. she unleashes her EX special attack, Yanagi enters Shinra Benchuo state and switches her stance. She charges up and rushes in with a forward step, followed by a powerful downward attack dealing electric damage. If the target is under I'm not anomaly, too sure about it. Yanagi it seems extremely single target focus. Without removing the hey, AoE seems dark while giving herself a buff. Now, let's see this in action. Wait, what we fight there now? That's cool. In combat, you can switch Yanagi in to unleash her EX special attack after her teammate triggers an anomaly, dealing extra damage while applying debuffs. Oh, okay. In such cases, Yanagi deals massive electric damage while switching from stance to stance to maintain her buffs. There is none of the usual gentleness that Yanagi seems to exude when activating her Dude, he was 1 HP while you were. intense focus as she lets loose a flurry Okay, well, this cool shit, man. Trust me, you don't want to be on her bad side when she gets serious. Agreed, but in her day-to-day -day life... Man, Yanagi it could be actually good so with Bernice. Oh, I'm so pissed. She only becomes that serious when things get real. Oh? Got more details I, I want lighter, man. I don't give a fuck. I can't give away everything just yet. <clears throat> now let's shift our focus to lighter. Here comes lighter, an S rank fire and stun agent. If you saw our last special program, you probably still remember this cool dude. <clears throat> Indeed, he's a proud member of the Sons of Caledon, no doubt. Dude, the dialogue feels so extremely false. I don't like that it. Red scarf. He certainly stands out in a crowd. But truth be told, Lighter's not one to hot the spotlight. And of course, he uses his fists in combat. Okay, it seems very fluid. Lighter faces his enemies head on in close range combat. And when his morale is high enough, the fifth hit of his basic attack sends him into an enhanced state. Oh, okay. In this state, he consumes morale and increases his impact to quickly stun his foes. His attacks also reduce the target's fire and ice resistance and makes them stunned longer. fights alongside teammates with the attack oh, no. specialty or his sons of Caledon friends. He allows his teammates to deal more fire and ice damage when he hits enemies. Fire and ice? That's good. That's actually good. Wait, wait, wait. I need him then. That's yeah, and combat, exactly. Lighter recovers morale as his teammates face off against opponents. Once Slider is ready to roll, you can use a quick assist to switch him in. He oh my god, this is so cool! With a continuous flurry of punches while nimbly dodging attacks. This helps him stun enemies quicker. Shit, I need him, man. For some serious DPS. I need both. No, when will you do this to me, man? Ultimate, slams the ground with a powerful punch. Okay, there he's pretty big. Massive damage and days to nearby enemies. With his fiery <clears throat> fists and powerful fighting style, Lighter sure is a hot one. The problem is, uh, Jingyi. Right. Got it. Fire. That's yeah, that's not looking good for Jimmy, man. But let's not forget our new Bang Boo, <coughs> Baddie Boo, and Night Boo. Baddie Boo, yes, and finally Baddie Boo. Any chance they'll help get our Mahjong? Nah, man, it's gonna be We're so dead. Players, you know. I'm dead. Why are you I dead, don't Marsh? Think so. What happened? The Muda Muda Muda. Dude, track. this shit is hilarious, man. After the 1.3 update, proxies can signal search in the Bang Boo channel to get the A rank Bang Boo, Baddie Boo. Baddie Boo. I need Baddie Boo. They also get Night Boo as a reward from the event, the mystery of Arpeggio Fault. Dude, I, I need that. Just so you know, the only way to obtain Night Boo as Look at this now shit, man. will be from that event. Betty Boo is Betty. an A rank Bang Boo who uses rockets and Molotov cocktails oh my God. to deal fire damage my with God. his active skill. When teaming up with an agent and activating a chain attack, Betty Boo leaps forward and shoots a rocket, dealing fire damage in a large area ahead. Take my God. A with one big blast. Very nice. Wait, no, Night Boo? Put shit on the ground. Night Boo can summon stars <laughs> onto the battlefield. Oh my god, that's so cute. Collecting those stars restores energy for agents. When activating oh, that's a good. attack, Night Boo summons three rainbow ponies. <clears throat> the ponies trample enemies ahead, dealing ether damage. With these now and this is an amazing one. I can't. Let's talk about signal searching. Meow. In the first half of version 1.3, 
proxies will have access to the exclusive channel Moonlit Serenity okay. and the W Engine channel. The problem channel, is, Dissonant I kind of want both, okay? Her for Benice and him because he's cool and Jinbu. In the latter half, the exclusive channel Champion of Embers and the W Engine channel Dissonant Sonata will be offering exclusive S Rank Agent Lighter and the S Rank W Engine Blazing Laurel. As for the 1.3 check-in events, each proxy can get 10 encrypted master tapes and 10 boopons in total. Did I need Betty Boo? Shit. Huh? Also, many I have to put the Betty Boo. know that you can obtain a dynamic background when reaching Trust Rank 4 with characters. Here are Yanagi and Lighter's dynamic backgrounds. Oh, cool. They showed them already. Eh, boring. Ooh, those are nice. Better get those trust ranks up. And don't forget the new Bang Boo. These new friends are itching to team up with you. Light is a little bit better. But it's going to be Lucy. If I get Lucy's, I will lose. I will lose. Perhaps we should drop that topic. I would lose. Hmm. Then what topic should we talk about instead? Maybe something that proxies really like. Redemption code. Redemption codes. Um, okay, virtual revenge. What a surprise. I put in chat for Mookie. Eventually, if Mookie's still here. While this shit is going on, redemption code. By the way, that's official Hoyo website. Don't be confused about shit. You basically, just lock yourself in here. Boom. And use the code down here. And now it's in game. It's for information. In case you want to know how it works. Also, why the fuck can I not press F to get full screen anymore on YouTube? Weird. With the version 1.3 update, we'll be introducing some new events and game modes too. Let's take a look. New game modes? First of all, Miss Yanagi and Mr. Lighter's stories are coming. Right. Lighter's story will be fucking amazing, probably. Our new stories will be available but dude, the, the animation or, and the art schedule. for Yanagi, this holy shit, that's so good. Like, she looks so fucking cool, actually, there. Which proxies can earn from story broadcast and warm-up exercises. And then like that one is golden. Sup, dude. How's it going, buddy? How are you Program in the TV schedule, Moonlight Traces. Proxies can check out Sukashiro Yanagi's story and themed stages. Meanwhile, that is so in Lighter's cool, TV schedule program, the champion not only can you find oh, Lighter's story and shit. stages, you can also check out the special play in which players can use Lighter across a series of horizontal battle stages. Oh my God! Nice. They make a smash stage course, for him. We can't let Lighter fight alone. At the start of each stage, okay, this is fucking amazing. Can designate an agent so they have to go shopping, character. but not in the mood. Call That's fair. At the right times to summon them and have them unleash their skills. Timing your support character right can lead to additional buffs. As for our combat lovers, we've added a new permanent gameplay mode. Oh. The simulated battle trials. Okay. By fighting battle after exhilarating battle, <coughs> proxies can steadily climb higher on the tower. Oh. Apart from polychrome rewards, players will obtain a badge upon reaching a certain floor. The higher you climb, the shinier your metal gets. I like metal. I like shiny. Keep this in mind. The higher you climb, the tougher your opponents, and your ah, agents no won't recover until you complete the entire phase. Like your HP, for oh. example. Agents will retain okay. the amount of HP they had from the previous battle. When an agent falls in battle, proxies can select a replacement from their reserves. Mm, okay. As you keep going through the challenge, you will unlock more agents to choose from. Yep. And enemy ability are those all trials? In simulated battle trials oh, it's too. mine. For example, when you beat one of the twin bosses, they resurrect faster than in regular fights. They always do. They, they, that's nothing. Flexible with your teams to conquer that tower. Go for it, proxies. I was in just addition, saying. <laughs> we're adding a new roguelike gameplay mode in Ooh. Hall Zero called the Mystery of Arpeggio Fault. Most of this mode is split into five chapters. 
Each chapter has multiple floors of randomly generated areas waiting to be explored. As you can see, Ooh. in this mode, proxies will encounter various events as they explore using the HDD. You can fight enemies That's by good. their tiles and defeat them by literally bumping into them with sufficient <coughs> combat power. In addition, you can even loot some NPCs via board combat. Like this That's innocent cool. shopkeeper here. <laughs> Let's help ourselves Just knock them all. The Looks like even the store owners can't resist the proxy's sheer power, or I mean, their sharp wit. Also in this game mode, instead of applying to combat, Rizonia will affect the HDD TV monitor board. The Bang Boo you get in game will show up as special Bang Boo Rizonia. Oh no! Dude, do you know what that means? Effects. I have so many big boos. During proxies will gain EXP, <coughs> which can be used to activate the blessing group chosen at the start to boost your exploration. Oh my ability. god! Once you've finished exploring a floor, you can move on to the next one for more resources. The resources you collect can be used to upgrade your skill tree while outside the game mode, giving you even more buffs for your next adventure. And the neat thing is, the buffs you get from the skill tree are completely up to you. 16 hours stream coming, I'm just saying, man. Their skills to suit their style. Now that we've talked about the gameplay, this shit looks fun as shit, man. Rewards. There are both permanent and limited time rewards. Besides polychromes, proxies can also get the new Bang Boo, Night Boo. I won't delve into the details here. Let's leave it to our proxies to explore for themselves. Nice. Oh! And I heard that the HIA is hosting a new event too. There, proxies can engage in test battles with different buffs for each stage. Notably, they're offering stages where you can test out the new agent, Sukishiro Yanagi. Utilizing specific buffs, proxies can try soloing Dude, the this stages with a single th agent. That we can fight in the middle of the city so good. This is so like cool. You're into. In oh, rain, really? that's so fucking hot. Have you about breaded belief in New Eridu? They're gearing Sandwiches. up to open a pop-up store at Lumina Square soon. Wow, perhaps we'll bump into some familiar faces. Oh my Not god, Zhuhuan, why you? Word has it that the chef needs some help to host a special group of lucky customers. Lend a hand and you might score a spot as a VVVIP customer at the store. And who knows, there might be more rewards waiting too. Little Bang Boo dreaming big dreams. Apart from this recruitment for Enna. caring services, a Bang Boo coach has thrown out an invite too. The Enna Assistant Program event is coming your way in version 1.3. During this event, proxies can visit Bang Boo. Bang yes, Bang Boo. Boo. Hello, Don. How's it, buddy? How can I say, dude? Take photos for the Bang Boo and assist the coach. In dude, the next patch will be goated. Those Bang Boo can be a hand. There's a new Abyss mode, which is basically a tower we can training? conquer. The higher we get, um, the better medals and shit we get. And characters will not heal unless we finish a phase. Which is probably 5 or 10 battles. So if character die, get fucked. Replace or give up. Lighter? Yes, lighter comes too. And honestly, Yanagi looks so fucking good in the animations. But... I I want lighter. I, I need lighter. Up in what the fuck is that? On all the latest gadgets. Swing by and check it out. Don't just window shop. If you see something you like, grab it and show off your latest finds on your display stand on the second floor of the video store. Treat yourself to something nice. In addition, I'm gonna be broke. I'm gonna be broke. I'm gonna be broke. I'm gonna be broke. On my fucking Denny's. In that bitch. In That's a weirdo on the corner, is it? Of the France system, Wait, the what? Of the name card and With titles? Section to display titles and badges. Proxies will be able to get various titles from events <laughs> and from Agent Trust. You can only equip That's one sexy. title. And as for these badges, mm. you can earn them from various Lucy. game modes and comes. multiple on display at once. Of course, if you'd rather not show off any titles or badges, that's totally fine too. Nah, oh, man, that shit. Text map underscore friends seventeen. 
With yeah. all those events, proxies will have their hands full for a while. Okay. But wait, there's more. I know you've got a whole list of optimizations too. Come on, spill. Of course, of course. In version 1.3, we've tweaked the functionality, appearance, and gadgets for the compendium. Okay. For example, we've improved how daily tasks are displayed under the errands tab. Now, I'm not looking at them anyway. Engagement is maxed out. You'll still see incomplete tasks marked out with the go to button for easy access. We've also revamped the weekly tasks at the very left under the errands tab. <coughs> That's at this least good. Update introduces Help, happy a new bamboo. interface and oh. way to choose tasks. Oh! Refresh weekly. That's this cool. This update will like drop it. on November 11th, a week after the new version is released. Okay. Moreover, the challenge okay, okay. tab has been renamed to combat for better clarity. Under the combat tab, you'll find new ways to access standard game modes, like the investigator training course in version 1.2 and the new game modes that will be added in version 1.3. We've added a new tactics tab on the far right side of the compendium. Proxies can use it to access combat tutorial stages. They speak faster than videos. It's annoying. Mechanics, meeting learning targets, and obtaining first clear rewards. Plus, you can access free training and your cooperation exercises from here too. Oh, that's All cool. I don't know. Not am I going to use it, but it's good together. Yeah. We're going to do it. And also, we've optimized the interfaces, layouts, stores, and the claiming of rewards. For Notorious Hunt, Shiyu Defense, and Hollow Zero. We've also added a new related agent feature for Expert Challenge, Notorious Hunt, and Routine Cleanup. Where proxies can now check agents who need the materials and disk drives from each stage. That's actually when cool. When it comes to building your agents, that makes stuff easier to find. Number of changes regarding and you have a good oversight on who wants what, which is pretty cool. For example, we're adding a quick. I use it for the people. Yeah, kind of say. Version one point. And even then, in the past, not really. When you were short on materials, you could either craft with lower level mats, dismantle more advanced ones, or use comprehensive ones to fill in the gaps. However, only materials one level lower were considered before. With this update, the system now checks for materials across levels. You can skip slogging through multiple oh. interfaces, oh, crafting really cool. level by level, and instead get everything you need on a single pop-up window. That's nice. Okay, that's very nice, actually. Enough necessary materials, of course. Yep. So, if you're running low on materials one level that's down... That's nice. That's actually nice. plenty of even lower level materials... I like it. ...you can craft across levels with a single action. Because that pissed me I off, like, like two it. days ago or some shit. But <laughs> while we've always been able to craft low level materials into more advanced ones, then maybe we oh. should other items... Oh! Look at this! Too. Finally! You bet. Oh my In god! In we're extending this handy feature to drive disc master copies as well. So, proxies will be able to craft more advanced tuning items to get more advanced drive discs. That really is. Oh my god, that's so sexy. Oh yeah, and that's, that's so the good. end of it. We've added a new sort by time to the drive disc menu. I used then so I many of them, purple ones. Drive discs by when I got them that that has... Them good. Time to save, yeah, time to save. Exactly. We'll I didn't use them the in the last, like, week or two, experience. so I'm pretty happy about that. We've made it so you can sort your drive that's discs very good. dismantling. Making it a breeze to filter discs that you don't need. <coughs> Just Plus, throw everything away that's purple or blue. Replaced by quick select. Just a tap, and you can select all drive discs of a specific grade or all those marked as discarded. We've added a new details button for dismantling drive discs. And Dude, they made digits. a fuck ton of changes. Holy shit! Man. I still do it. An icon with text um, for better on clarity. the quick button. Fuck that. Just put everything really in. Amp up the whole experience. Also, they have max resin. I don't like it. Also, in version 1.3, you can pen your favorite. Nice, finally. Oh my god, you can fight. Oh my Angel god, this menu, is so good. Remodeling shop, Bangboo deployment interface, and more. Now you can find your favorite. That's so good. I've max resin right now. Good shit. I don't. Selection screen over at the music I probably don't. Now, Betty Boo. Yes, Betty Boo comes out. Once. Moreover, we've added quick and he has rocket launcher and Molotov cocktails. Interface. Overall, yep. these touches are all about <laughs> power damage bumps mm -hmm. in your experience. Oh no. All that excitement. And by the way, lighter is good um for Ellen. Okay. So, they used the team in the trailer here. Lighter 
Furry and Ellen. Just saying. I'm pretty cool. I have maximum calls cause with Rogue. Workers. Yeah, I know. Even if we're not Unidentified ghost. We'll stay hanging on. Phantom Ball, Feather Ball, well, Ultra Ball. Okay. Show. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time. Bye. There's something else coming. I know. There we go. What do we have now? Please don't tell me it's music again because I don't have to mute. I was get I get copyright striked again. Okay. Shown fucking nothing, man. They. I hate it. I hate it. I very much hate it. Anyways, pretty goaded. I gotta say, the stories, the changes. Um, that new permanent mode thing, um, that is a TV mode screen. Perfect. I like this shit. Okay. Makes me horny. Um, Yanagi's animations. Crisp as fuck. Okay, I like it. I could use it for Benice. Will I pull it? Probably not. Because lighter. Okay. Lighter's on the way. I fucking need lighter. So yeah, quite unfortunate, but looks good, okay? Looks very good, looks very good. Anyways, two bars. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like first, subscribe. I'm telling it only once. See me in the next video, would be cool. And yeah. I don't know what else to say in my outro, <clears throat> except come to my Twitch. I'm probably screaming right now live, considering I just watched it, okay? And once again, down below in the description, links, everything you want, okay? Anyways, have a good one. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.